I personally found this question to be quite challenging, but I want to suggest using our eye to eliminate some answer choices. When I look at this diagram, and I see that indeed it does look like a parallelogram, and indeed it does look like all four sides are equal to one another, so I feel like I can trust the diagram, I'm looking at the two diagonals, and I'm wondering, does the longer diagonal seem to be about twice as long as the small diagonal? More than twice as long? Less than twice as long? And to my eye, it seems like it's not quite twice as long, but it's getting close to twice as long. Based on that, and this is just a guess, and I'm just basing it on what it looks like to my eye, so this is definitely not foolproof, I would probably eliminate A, C, and E just because they're all suggesting that the longer diagonal is at least twice as long, if not even more than that, than the short diagonal. And between the remaining two answer choices, I'm wondering, does the long diagonal seem to me like it's only about 1.4 times the short diagonal? So about 40% longer? Or would I maybe guess that it's closer to twice as long? So maybe like 70% longer, which would be answer choice D. And I tried this myself without trying to solve the question first, and I found that I did guess the right answer. I, I guessed answer choice D because it seemed like it was more than 40% longer, but not quite twice as long. And so with that reasoning, I, I picked D and I guess got lucky, picked the right answer. Now how to actually solve this question? Well, when we draw the two diagonals, what we need to realize is that we get four identical triangles that are all 30, 60, 90. And this is because the diagonals are going to be perpendicular to one another and they're going to bisect the angles in the corners, and this is because it's a parallelogram whose four sides are equal. And the thing about a 30, 60, 90 triangle is that the medium length side of such a triangle is exactly square root of three as big as the small side of such a triangle. And this is something that we just have to memorize for 30, 60, 90 triangles. So since the medium length side is square root of 3 as long as the small side, it follows from there that the long diagonal is square root of 3 times as long as the short diagonal, and therefore the correct answer is D. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.